joining me in the video today. I'm really excited to show you this very unusual and quirky member of the clarinet family, the Bohm system clarinet in the key of G. So how did this instrument come to be? Well, the concept of a clarinet in G started with the clarinet de Moore back in the late 1700s. So this instrument was also pitched in the key of G and had a bulbous bell, a lot like an English horn, and a relatively narrow bore, very similar to the bore you'd find on a B flat or A clarinet. So this instrument, while gaining some popularity, was never extremely popular and was eventually replaced with the basset horn. However, one country did accept this instrument, and that was Turkey. And the clarinet de Moore actually evolved into what we think of today as a Turkish clarinet, which would traditionally be a clarinet key of G, but with Albert system fingering. However, when Westerners found out about the Turkish clarinet, they were hooked, and the demand for a Bohm system Turkish clarinet skyrocketed. Now, for a while, this demand was only being filled by a few select companies, such as Orsi or Stefan Fox. However, there's never been a really cheap, mass-produced Bohm system clarinet in a key of G, until now. This is a Chinese instrument that cost all of $280. And what do you get for $280? Well, that's what I'm gonna answer in today's video. Opening up the case, we were greeted with some of the more traditional accessories that we tend to find with cheaper Chinese instruments, including a swab, a tube of cork grease, and a screwdriver that will strip any screws as soon as you try to use it. Here we have our mouthpiece of questionable quality, along with a reed that tastes like it came straight out of a factory, which is perfect for shucking straight into the garbage. And here we have our instrument. Now, it may look like it only has one barrel. However, if we turn the bell around, we can actually see that there's another barrel in here, which is kind of a problem because this ring is eventually gonna scratch up the inside of this bell. So unfortunately, we may have to store this barrel outside of the instrument to protect the bell. And here we have our instrument. Now, there may be a few unusual quirks and features that might stand out to you at first glance. The most obvious being this extra pad cup here. So what does this do? Well, this is actually just a, a resonance hole. It's not actually a tone hole. And what it does is it makes the low shallow mo G or clarion D a little bit more clear and free blowing because it provides an extra open hole here. You tend to see this more on modern bass clarinets and some alto clarinets. Another unusual feature of this instrument, it does have an extra ring here, and this is for playing the forked E flat, B flat fingering, where you just use one and three instead of using the one one fingering or the trill fingering. And other than that, it's a pretty typical Balm system clarinet. It has all the keys you'd expect. One nice additional key is this left hand A flat, E flat key, which I really love to see on instruments. This one in particular is fairly small, which is good because you're less likely to hit it when you're reaching for either of these keys. So overall, just looking at the instrument at first glance, it looks very good. So to give you a better idea of the sound of this instrument, I'm going to play a chromatic scale from low E all the way up to high C. Now I have my tuner on the right side of the screen, which you can see to check the intonation of this instrument. So let's give it a go. So as you just saw from that demonstration, the intonation is overall okay, however there are certainly a few problems that need to be corrected. Uh, the biggest problem I saw was the low shallow mode G or clarion D, which were both flat, which probably means that this tone hole right here is a bit too small and needs to be opened up. However, that's fairly simple to do, so that's not too big of a deal. Uh, the one thing I saw was a sharp clarion B natural, and this is pretty common on clarinets, especially ones with only one register vent when you're talking about larger clarinets like this. But a really simple solution to this is actually just to take the bell and pull it out about a millimeter. And what that'll do is it'll actually create a little uh, voicing groove like you tend to find on higher end bells. And it'll make the uh, clarin be a little bit easier to play. And at the same time, that'll also bring down the pitch a little bit. So. Just talking about playing the instrument, um, 
It's really uncomfortable, actually. Uh, one of the advantages of a Balm System G clarinet should be that the spread between the, uh, the first and third fingers on your right hand shouldn't be too great because unlike with an Albert System instrument, you don't have to cover up the, the low C, high G tone hole with your finger. That gets covered with a pad cup and your finger is about an inch lower. So theoretically, it should be a little bit more comfortable. However, I actually found the finger spread to be quite a bit. Um, it's to the point where it hurts my hand after playing it for about 30 minutes. And it's not helped by the fact that these touch pieces for the right hand pinky are positioned a little bit too far left for my taste. And it, it really puts your right hand in a very uncomfortable position, which I'm not too happy about. Um, that can be adjusted somewhat, but I'm not really sure how I could possibly adjust the position of these right hand pinky keys. So my solution for that was to use a Ridnor thumb saddle. You can also just buy the generic version of this for about $5, but what it does is it essentially puts your right hand thumb a little bit farther away from the body of the instrument and it just makes it a little bit more comfortable. I think I'm going to have to build a larger thumb rest that sticks out more though. Um, other than that, everything was uh, fairly comfortable, easy to play. I didn't notice any leaks when I checked this instrument before, so that's very good to see. Generally with Chinese instruments, you will almost always see leaks as soon as they arrive. But this instrument is leather pads and the tone holes look really well finished. So that's a very good sign and it means I have to do a lot less work to get this instrument in good playing condition. Um, so my plans for this instrument, I'm going to try to do some adjustments to the keyword, do some adjustments in the nation. And after I do all that, I think I should have a fairly playable instrument for not a lot of effort, which is exactly what I've been looking for in a Boehm System G clarinet. So is this instrument worth it? I would say for under $300, this is definitely a good way to get a cheap Bowman System G clarinet. And it does play out of the box, however, you may need to do some adjustments to make it suit your needs. So that is my opinion of this instrument. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know if you have any questions about this instrument in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.